Let's do an MCAT problem. Consider the following standard reduction potentials. We have copper 2 plus aqueous plus 2 electrons preceding 2 copper as a solid. We have zinc 2 plus aqueous plus 2 electrons preceding 2 zinc solid. We have, a, we have an E value of positive 0.34 volts for the copper and an E value of negative 0.76 volts for the zinc. If these two half cells are used to construct a galvanic cell, what will be the standard cell potential? A, negative 1.1 volts. B, negative 0.42 volts. C, negative 0.42 volts. Or D, positive 1.1 volts. Now what we have to do to construct the total cell potential here is we have to arrange it in a way that matches a couple conditions. For one thing, we have to make sure that it is spontaneous and the voltaic cell must have a potential that is positive or it won't be spontaneous. This automatically rules out option A and B. When we arrange it in a balanced reaction, such that the cathode and anode difference are taken, we get 0.34 volts minus the anode, which is a negative 0.76, and minusing a minus, subtracting a minus, makes it a positive. And so the total becomes 1.1 volts. The other thing to remember about this is that when we're deciding which thing gets to be the cathode and which thing gets to be the anode, the cathode, or the reduction, occurs needs to have a more positive reduction potential. In this case, this means that the cathode from the positive 0.34 or the negative 0.76, the more positive one between those two numbers is the positive 0.34. So this tells us to put that one first in our cell potential equation. The answer therefore is D. I hope that helps. I'll see you at mkitboss.com.